Footpath clearance and public safety is a year-round task on the nature reserve. This old cherry tree was leaning dangerously over a public footpath and sadly had to be felled. Nearby are the slopes of coppiced hazel. This ancient technique of woodland management is normally used to create a sustainable harvest of useful wood for commercial purposes. But here on the reserve, hazel coppicing makes a special habitat for rare and protected species. Today I'm uh, doing hazel coppicing. Uh, there's many reasons for doing this. and It's just uh, environmentally for a rare species of mouse that lives in, the ca in this uh, woodland. It's called a dormouse. And they uh, like the habitat of uh, coppiced hazel, which is when you... Uh, cut the trees down low and then they come back in gr big groups like this you see here. Once they've grown to about eight years old then we do it again and we do the we've got an area of wood here that's maybe two acres in a size and we um, cut this into eight sections of woodland so uh, every eight years every piece of the wood gets cut so then we keep that rotation going and we've got the different stands of woodland at different heights which is what the habitat of the dormice is uh, really after because they like eating the the hazelnuts and there's also a lot of honeysuckle growing through here and there's bramble in the background there so this is basically a, a good technique of managing the uh, dormice which is in decline. Having cut the larger branches with a chainsaw a team of volunteers moves in to saw off smaller branches at different heights, trim them to a manageable size and stack them in heaps. This brash then forms a secondary habitat for beetles and other invertebrates. Then there's a final cut with a chainsaw to tidy it up. Eddie Church explains why all the wood is not cut at the same level. Varying it at different heights is good because then you get the different levels of uh, story on the old canopy. You're also leaving a couple of uh, bigger trees here. We've got an oak and stuff. I'm going to leave that because all the varying heights is good good cover for some of the stuff as well. This is a traditional way of uh, managing a woodland. Each year the techniques are refined to ensure the long-term survival of the dormouse population.